Again, to deny the genealogical record of Christ leading to his incarnation and which makes up his humanity, one has to completely abuse the force and intent of the entire body of Scripture. Jesus was born into the stream of humanity. He was not created, and he was and is fully human. More importantly, a denial of the truth of the genealogical humanity which led to him would result in a problem with the deity of Christ as well. If Mary was just a receptacle for the creation of Jesus, as some have claimed, then one, Jesus is not God because there is only one God who cannot create another God. Or two, God would have to create a body for Christ which he then united with. There would be no begetting of his humanity in the process. This is similar to a confusion of thought concerning Christ's deity, which is seen in the error of the heretic Arius. He said, if the father begat the son, then he who was begotten had a beginning in existence. And from this it follows that there was a time when the son was not. This is an error in understanding the nature of God. Jesus Christ is God. If God created Jesus in the womb of Mary, and yet he is God, then God and his creation are one indivisible single unit. But they are not. The incarnation says that God is the creator and the creation is created. Therefore, there is a distinction between the humanity and deity of Christ, a doctrine known as the hypostatic union. This describes the union of God in man in the person of Jesus Christ, two hyposes or states in one. He did not possess humanity before his conception, but since his conception, he is clothed in humanity forever. And although he is united with human flesh in this hypostatic union, he is not bound to the human nature. He remains fully God. His two natures are not in any way separate and yet they in no way intermingle. But if his body was created in the womb by God for Jesus who is God, then the two would intermingle. Rather, his humanity remains human. He has all of the attributes of a man, a human genealogy. He aged and increased in knowledge. He prayed. He got hungry. He got tired. He felt compassion. He wept. He was thirsty. Many times, more than 100, in fact, he is called the Son of Man or the Son of David, demonstrating his human nature. 